Hi. Hi. I'm holding a baby. Yeah. I got. We got tired of of, of constantly losing of this. So we're holding a baby. Yeah. The baby is good luck. Yeah. This is my new son. His name. He's got hiccups, but he's he's a newborn. He's expected to make noises and stuff. And he's being held by his big uncle. I'm the big uncle, not the small uncle. I'm in trouble with this jump. You maybe you don't need to do the gun thing. Or you can jump. You can't do that hook. Like you can't do that hook. It's impossible. Oh, there it is. Oh, you think I can just jump up here? Yeah. Oh, okay. There you go. I we got tired of dying all the time, so I decided we'd, we'd bring you back right here at the beginning of the of this episode with yeah. us being at the end of the level. I hope. I think. I if I remember correctly, it's not too much further. Whoa! Yeah. Uh, uh. Ah! Yay! Oh my we God! Made it to Blake the big house. Blake. Born eight four. Wow, no, I don't have a nipple for you to suck. <laughs> so this is the Brendan Spears show now. Um, I'm going to beat this game uh, using only my wits and maybe two of my fingers. I'm not sure which two yet. Um, you did not just watch me die there and get a game over. Uh, no, see, see, that didn't happen. What's going to happen is I'm going to win and then all the ladies will love me. I figured out what I have to do. See, what you have to do is not be terrible at this game. I don't know what you're talking about, Blake. It's your turn. Why? Jesus. You realize that when I run out of lives, you're going to have to play. Oh, I remember how I have to do this now. You, you <laughs> That's to, what I just said. You yes. to, I wasn't paying any attention to what you were saying. I was upstairs with my baby. Your baby. baby. Yeah. yeah, you have to drop down. You have to hook. Yeah. You have to do the hook that I just... Yeah, but you can't do the hook that you're trying to do. I don't think that's actually something you can do. All right. Now, is there anything dangerous here? <laughs> is this is is there anything dangerous here, he said, standing in front of a pit of lava surrounding by spinning fireballs. Well, you know, that's not... I remember this part here being being especially f f infuriating because... Damn it! Because of that? <laughs> no, because... I like how... They, I like, do you notice how I, like, I tried to avoid uh, everything... You got the, hit by the lava and the fireball, but like, that was good micromanagement, though. I kind of missed the... Do you want to back up just a little bit? Um, uh, the... the uh, uh, the um, I, the, first of all, I kind of miss the lava that you just fall through, like the the like that the old no you just fall they don't like it's just it's just like a flat back background you fall in front of it. Oh yeah, right. I kind of miss that, but but because they couldn't figure out all the layering and that early on. Mm. Um, but also, this part's frustrating because the if you notice the fireball goes a kind of a random like kind of just, like slightly random so it's like sometimes it goes straight up sometimes it's. Well, it always goes straight up, but but sometimes it's like sometimes there's a little bit of a gap, sometimes there's no gap, mm -hmm. and it can and it can be really confusing and really easy to screw up like that. Yeah, and then what happens is there's a maze. Yep. So this is the game deciding that you suck and that you should suffer, basically. <laughs> God also, those fish, fish, lava fish. There you go. Enjoy. Hey. Beat the game. All right. So, um, speed up. No, I'm just kidding. But we, you're gonna, at some, we'll do this whole episode of this game and then, of this level, and then just give up, die. Um. Not necessarily in that order. We'll probably die, then give up, to be honest. Yeah. Um, we were talking a little while ago about 90s kids, and how we're not really 90s or 80s kids. I was born in 1980. I don't think I can do this hook. I think you might just have to take over from this point. I don't know if I know how to do it. You kind of have to, like, uh, just... Drop and push. Drop and push. Yeah, that's what I did before. Just push, and push and give me 20. You, I just you, don't think I can do it. Here, let, me like see, I could here, let me show you if I can just... No, that's, that's it. That's, that's closer. That's what we're looking for. That was it, much worse than the other one. <laughs> well, sometimes, sometimes things look worse and then really they're better from a certain angle. From a certain angle. That's the clue. A certain angle. Get it? Because we're... <laughs> so Blake's playing from now on, and I'm going to be fighting the color commentary. Green! I don't know if I approve this red. shade of blue. The red's nice. I like the red. <laughs> oh, you're going in, you're making like real color commentary. Yeah, yeah that was the joke before you started shouting colors. <laughs> well, I was making color commentary too. It was more like the kind of color commentary that PewDiePie would provide. Okay. He's a Swedish chef, right? He's a Swedish chef. And now, another episode of PewDiePie. Bork, 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 bork. I'm super racist. 
super racist brother. There's also a uh, comic where um, the sound effect for the ball giving awkward anal sex that's not really pleasing to anyone. Wait, 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 whoa! You're gonna have to. Well, wait a minute. You're gonna have to slow down and make that intelligible. There was a comic where the sound effect for people having unsatisfying anal sex is bork, either bork, one bork. is bork bork bork. So um, now whenever I hear the Swedish chef, I know what's going on under those under those ropes. It's kaboo! It's the monkey boo Yeah. It's the boo boo in the eeny eeny. <laughs> Basically, do you want to go down the pipe? I don't remember, and I don't want to know. Oh no, you can probably just make it. No, no. Get Jesus Christ! There is a pipe you want to go down though. I know, but I'm scared. I'm so scared. Ah! Maybe that oh, was the one. You could have got the wall jump there if you hit the jump button. You would have died, but you could have done it. Yeah, see, now you've reset to the beginning again. Yeah, okay. So you want to go down that second pipe, I believe. I have run out of time in this place. Uh, there was a point where I was getting good enough where mm -hmm. I just would run out of time, like, repeating the same section over again. Did it bah at you? I'm going to put bah at you. I don't know. Maybe you have to... Maybe you're supposed to go through this twice? There's some part of it that I think you're supposed to go through twice. It's just like an Try unfair going maze. You, that under one, maybe. You think this one here? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Let's go this way and then this way. Yay! Okay, this looks rightish. I mean, as in this looks like hell. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Go through. I'm trying to think of jokes. You have to think of the jokes because I am besmirched. You know, only in D and D and this game are squids the most horrible things in the universe, or and real life. You forget squids it, you... are fine in real life. Have you ever have you ever been attacked by a squid? In... Or what about Japanese anime? No, because they're very pleasurable. No, but in D and D, like a squid. Okay, will ruin I remember your this day. part. This part is is tricky. It's it's tricky. It's yeah. You know. It's okay. hard to rock a rhyme. <laughs> To walk around that's right it's, on cause time because you have to do this you have to do that damn jump again but on to <laughs> go on. god okay whether you're doing this like you know this is gonna be a poison mushroom okay also um why are there air squids yeah mm -hmm. i was gonna i was gonna ask a question about the air squid see i remember you getting to this boat because he had memorized that previous pattern Oh, damn it. There's just poison mushrooms everywhere in this damn place. Ah! ah air squids! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Make it stop. This platform there. I think I have to land on that platform or not land on it. One of those two things is true. Hopefully. Oh, God. Uh, say jokes, because I'm too stressed. No, I'm just enjoying watching you suffer. Ah. I don't know. It's so hard. Okay. Okay, don't gonna... try to hook. No, uh, you do enough hook jumps in this. Go dumb. Oh. Ah. All right. But I don't have to restart at the beginning of the world, which is like rather generous of them. Mm -hmm. Just at the beginning of this level, and I've got five lives, which is crazy. Why did you do that? Um, I think there's a way of getting it if you just get the right jump just right, but probably not. Probably not, and it's not worth spending three hours trying to figure out if that's possible or not. All right, three hours. I later. don't know if you can tell, but I've played video games with Blake before. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna try it again. Oh. All right, and we're gonna pause. Unpause. Okay. <laughs> and I immediately die. Yeah, I don't know if that was noticeable, but I did literally did not move that entire time we were pause. And it was like a good 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, my hands are really sore right now. Um, it feels like I've been playing some kind of I don't know. What's like a video game that's really hard? They need a lot of fiddly hand motions. <laughs> this one? Uh, Gauntlet Legends. <laughs> <laughs> round and round and round. Ah! <laughs> that really scared me. <laughs> Where did the fish come from? Where did the fish come from? I've never actually heard that song. I've actually avoided my entire life, and I know it's only been a year, but. What? Oh, oh, is that is that the where did the fox what did the fox say? Yeah. I don't. I've never. I've. I've seen. I don't think I actually heard the whole song. I heard about three seconds of it because uh, Todd in the Shadows played it for half a second as part of a montage. Ah. Don't. Don't try to hook that. Only hook when necessary, Blake. I'm, what did you learn from Robin Williams films? All right, we're gonna try this jump. We're gonna try this jump for the next three hours. Woohoo! All right, we're gonna try it for three hours. Well, that yet? didn't work. All right, I'm glad that three hours is up. Let's try this again. 
let's go back to hooking. <laughs> let's go back to hooking. Let's go back to hooking, man. It's the only way to beat this game. That's right. Isn't, is this a good lesson you want to be teaching kids? What? What? You can suck dicks to beat Mario games. That's a great. That's a great one. That's, that's probably actually in the design doc. We will make a game so hard, they will want to give me all of sex in order to beat it. <laughs> that's right. One thing I heard about the the, the new game designed by uh, Shiggy, yeah. uh, Shiggy Mots, is he was testing it and apparently it just wasn't playing well. It's like this giant robot fighting game, yeah. but it kind of plays like co-op a little bit. Yeah. And so like people were like you know having no one was winning, everyone was losing horribly in embarrassing ways. And someone's like, here, uh, Sh uh, Shigeru, uh, you try it out. And he's like, okay. And he started playing it, and he was, like, way worse than everyone else. Yeah. And he was, like, utterly getting decimated. Yeah. And I get the feeling that's what, if you try to get him to play this game, what it would be like. What, what are you doing? Um, I think there's a... Oh, cool. There's, there's something there. I don't know what it could be. Maybe there's... it's... No! I was going to say, it's not going to make a difference because it's going to fall in a pit and die. I don't know why I turn into like some like stereotype of a Jewish comedian like every time I die in this game. It's just... Cause, it, well, because they're dying on the it's inside. It's the shame. It's the shame, it's I think, the yeah. It's the shame that drives it. And to be fair, have you seen my hail? It's pretty Jewish. Yeah, or you could... Not, be... Jew, not really Jewish, but like Jewish. That's an old joke. Yeah. <laughs> I just That I... was clearly going to kill you. I was trying to get... Just, I didn't want to slide. You slide a lot in this game. <laughs> it's like... It's like you, sliding onto a pile of dicks. You know, um, you know what Sonic needs? Um, speaking of sliding onto big piles of dicks. Yeah, that's you know, his career path, yes. This, you know what Sonic the Hedgehog needs? What? It's Last he, processing? Oh, Jesus Christ. I guess he does, because without it, you can do... Ah! You know, if you hadn't got hit by the prana plant, you would have survived that. I know. It's the shame. No, what he needs is good shoes. Can you imagine if he had like Mario's shoes? Like, he, like he'd be like, I'm Sonic. I'm gonna run real fast. Run, run, run. Oh my God! Spikes. Oh no, coins. So basically, what you're saying is the newer no, Sonic games. He rings. just he just got worse shoes. That's that's probably it. M he stole Mario stole his shoes for the better controlled Mario games. That th th that's how Mario wins the uh, Olympic games. Is there you his, go. His, oh, God damn it! Poison mushrooms everywhere. Not a drop to drink. This game is so mean at this point. It's, it's just it's just kind of unfair and like vicious. Yeah. It's just like Sid. Speak, speaking of Sid, you can hear my child crying. Um, but no. Um, ah, they're gonna revoke your parent license, Blake. Listen, I work for the Ministry of Children and Family Development, the social services. I'm not directly doing social work, but doing other stuff uh, at work. The, and the less fun aspect of social work. The, the more fun part. But anyway, um, <laughs> I, Wee, I, I, I can stay with some certainty that they do not have child right licenses. and Because if, if they did, a lot of our files would not happen. <laughs> if, if you had to pass some sort of test to become a parent. So you're advocating... Like, you have to pass a test to become a parent, Blake? No, I'm just saying that that's, uh... That, 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 because I am. It, no, I'm saying if they No, I'm that, saying that's a really good idea. But if they had that test, then I would be out of a job. What we need is bad parents so that we can keep people like me employed. Yeah. Bad parenting! It keeps the government working. <laughs> Basically. Plus, it's like, that's how they get all their politicians. Yeah, exactly. Rich people bad parenting, not poor yeah. people bad parenting. Poor people bad parenting just ends up with criminals, which is how you get politicians. Oh my goodness, it's all, it's a closed system. There Bad you go. parenting leads to everything. Season six of The Wire, guys. Season six of The Wire. Okay. I, Why did you... Oh, yeah, okay, right. Um, I actually found, I think, on almost every run through, I did better by not getting this because it makes you a bit smaller and thus it's uh, like you're... It's easier to hook. It's easier to hook, yeah. But at the same time... That's why prostitutes are so tiny. But by what are so tiny? Prostitutes. Oh, I heard prostates. That's also why prostates are so tiny. That's why prostate. My prostate is very tiny because... Mine's the... big and swollen. <laughs> it's like a football, man. That's right. It's really painful. Because jocks just want to get their hands on it. <laughs> like a football, because jocks just want to get their hands on it. On my prostate, yes. Uh, speaking of prostates, I guess we've lost this... 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 Episode? Episode, so... I guess. So next time on the Super Spirits Brothers... Next time on the Super Spirits Brothers, we'll lose more time we'll, due to entropy. We'll probably beat the game, but entropy. Entropy will get us all, man. Hey, fuck you, entropy. And by that, I mean Enderby, the town of Enderby. Yeah, no one likes Enderby. 
Hey, Enderby. What? That's not a button. You just pushed my phone. 